Hi, my name is Marion Kalmer, and I'm a farmer from Western Illinois. In the late 90s, I was growing corn in 15 inch rows, started introducing BT genetics into the hybrids, and simultaneously raised populations a little bit, and all of a sudden I, I had a residue buildup problem uh, that I just couldn't handle, and it made no-till planting uh, even more challenging. And so I needed a solution, went into my farm shop, and we built and designed uh, what we now call the BT Chopper. And so what we wanna do today is I wanna explain the upgrade kit that we have for John Deere's 600 or 700 series corn head. So as a group of farmers in this upgrade kit, number one, we believe that a, a change in stock rolls is in order here. To, it's, it's a good corn head, we just wanna make it better. And so we're gonna put the BT chopper in this kit. Uh, number two, in the upgrade package, uh, we have a set of combo stripper plates. Uh, they're straight in the front, beveled in the back. We think that's a great addition and helps reduce the butt shelling. Also, we have a, a, a grass knife that goes on the spiral. Um, we also have a cover plate next to the gearbox that stops any plugging. And we have a new uh, chrome pin chain. Uh, so all of these things are in this upgrade kit. We're simply saying we want to take a good corn head. We want to make it a little bit better. So let's talk a little bit about some of the limitations of the OEM uh, parts. Um, the current uh, heads are, are running a, uh, a stock roll that has eight blades on it, but they're running tip to tip. Now there's no nose bearing on this particular model. It's cantilevered. And in the tip to tip or knife to knife design, um, we're relying on, on friction and the compression here to be able to get enough traction to be able to pull that stock downward. Now, being since it's cantilevered, uh, we're gonna get some nose deflection on, on some of the super hybrids, uh, good yielding corn, um, and it's gonna reduce that, especially if it's a little, little bit damp. I'm um, gonna reduce that ability to grab the traction that we're looking for. Uh, but also, once we start to see a little bit of wear, um, we're not able to go in and readjust these flutes uh, like we can on some of the cases or the gearing hoffs. So there's some of the limitations of this stock roll um, with this design. So we uh, went ahead and, and, and designed a, uh, uh, the BT chopper so that it has the overlapping and intermeshing uh, flutes and it has the uh, retrieving area here with the spiral. Um, we've made our spiral cone a little bit smaller. Uh, one of the things that we've learned in, in the testing is in harvesting down corn, um, I need to be, give ample room between the two spirals in order to get that stalk to come successfully get it into the, into the row unit. So we're gonna follow the, the spirals um, on up and then we have synchronized the handoff uh, from the threaded area of the spiral into the revolving window. What the revolving windows is, is just we have changed the length of the flutes, um, which allow that stalk to come into the chamber. So it's gonna follow the spiral on up, and then we'll start with long blades. They'll just keep getting a little shorter and a little shorter. And then eventually we go right back to the longest blade and that's where we lock that stock down uh, so that we can get you that 100% traction that we need regardless of, of the weather. Um, at my farm, we, we, we've got to run hard in the fall to get it all uh, harvested. So that means I'm gonna be running in green stalks early in the season. I'm gonna see some dry stalks after, it, uh, uh, after we've had uh, four weeks of harvest. And then I'm gonna see rainy days, cloudy days where I'm gonna have damp stalks. And uh, worst case scenario is we start to get some stock lodging near the end of the season. And that's when we really see the advantages of, of the uh, revolving window. And it is a full window uh, that allows for big stocks to come into that chamber. So the other thing as a group of farmers in developing this stock roll, uh, you know, we wanted longevity. And we know because of the design that uh, all of the load is going to go on that wear bar and that first blade. And so we beefed it up. Um, we've got a little bit of hard surfacing on there. You can rebuild it if you want to, uh, but that helps uh, keep that blade from, uh, from wearing down. Once we get past the, the patented revolving window, uh, then we move into the processing chamber. And that's now where we're going to take the razor sharp flutes 
and uh, we're going to be able to cut and shear uh, that stalk into small pieces uh, that's going to help us accelerate that decomposition. And that's something that I need at my farm, re regardless of tillage system, whether I'm a no-tiller, conventional tiller, um, but also in continuous corn. Huge improvement in yields um, by, uh, by sizing that residue into something that we can use. So the, uh, uh, the blades are induction heat treated, which helps get them to, to last um, a lot longer. So uh, the initial uh, BT chopper had 10 blades on it. And then just last February, we have now introduced the, the most advanced stock roll in the industry, which is the 12 bladed super chopper. Again, we're just taking something that's working really well and we're just making it one notch better. Pieces are a little bit smaller. Uh, we can handle higher speeds. We can handle uh, higher uh, tonnage of corn stalks as we run down through the field. So just as a step up, both of them are still great stock rolls, uh, but the super chopper is, is the one that we see as we move on into the future. So I'll give you a little demonstration here. If you've ever been at, at one of our shows, this stand is, is in our uh, display area. On this side of the, of the test stand, uh, we actually have a corn stalk in the row unit. We have it powered up here and you'll be able to see in, in uh, this uh, demonstration, how the corn stalk slowly moves its way into the uh, fluted area, and then the two long blades come together, and that's when we get a grip on it. And then we'll kick it into reverse, and it'll back it back out of there. So, so we're gonna start out by feeding with the spirals to the long flutes. They just get shorter, shorter, shorter. And then we go immediately right back to the longest flute right there, and that's where we grab that stalk and that's where we're gonna take it to the ground. So the importance of, of this revolving window also is a big player on butt shelling because I know that I'm going to be able to get you 100% traction regardless of weather conditions. I have to harvest every day. I, I can't wait for just nice weather. So this um, ability to get a traction on adverse days allows me to run this corn head slower than I used to. And butt shelling is, is, is very relevant to, to speed. Um, I always use the example, if you take an ear of corn and, and you set it on the concrete on the shop floor, you don't see any butt shelling at all. But if you take the same ear of corn and you throw it on the floor, kernels are gonna go everywhere. And so we know that 90, 95% of butt shelling is all related to the speed of the corn head. And, and I've been learning and the other farmers that work with me uh, that we're able to slow our heads down um, and that significantly reduces butt shelling. So that goes back to the stalk roll. Now I'm gonna give you a little demonstration on actually uh, running a, a stalk down through uh, the razor sharp uh, flutes. So we've removed the, the spirals. Now we've just got the, the blades that are overlapping and intermeshing and they're razor sharp. So if you watch right in here, you'll get to see the confetti come out the bottom. And this is a real corn stalk. Now obviously that's a, a fairly dry stalk, but, but still I, I, I think it, it tells us the, the capabilities um, of what this stock roll can do. Um, we always say this looks a little bit like a zipper and you can see how we've cut and how we've sheared. And now um, the microbes are gonna kick in and the bacteria and the earthworms. And, and so I'm promoting soil health at the same time uh, as I'm uh, trying to increase yields and, and make the mechanical side of things work better uh, as well. So. Uh, this is one of the great features of the BT chopper. It's its ability to make uh, small confetti as it comes down um, out of the row unit. So we start to talk a little bit about the, uh, the stripper plates. On the, on the OEM parts, um, I tested straight plates versus beveled plates. Um, a couple of the things that we saw here, we, we think that uh, an OEM plate closes up just a little too quickly. Um, especially if I'm in down corn, um, it's going to take more energy to force the material back here into the, into the row unit. Also on the straight edge, um, in, in my opinion, um, it makes it uh, uh, more prone to butt shelling because on impact now, 
um, I've got all of the energy being displaced on, on maybe just one kernel on the edge. And um, also, this stripper plate design is, is trying to shear those kernels off the cob instead of compress them. So I think that adds a little bit to butt shelling. The other things that I noticed about straight stripper plates is that as we pull the plant through, um, the leaves potentially will get stripped off and we potentially will, will break the husk off and those items will end up in the combine and I don't need any more residue in the combine, um, just yellow ears. So in our design on stripper plates, again, it's farmer led here, um, testing years and years and we decided to open it up here in the front just a little bit more, it helps us in down corn and then it gives me a little more wiggle room when I'm dumping on the go, um, but Keeping it flat in this area, I think is a really good idea, and I like that. And we're able to bring the gathering chain lug around, and then it will grab any material that's in this area and then provide the energy for powered movement and take it on up and into the row unit. Now, once we've gotten further into the row unit, at this point in time is where we're gonna switch over to the beveled edge. And we like that because obviously now we've got a rounded surface. Most of the years have rounded bottoms. So we've got a rounded surface against a rounded surface. We're gonna be able to displace that energy better around the base of this and re help, help reduce butt shelling significantly. Also, when we think about the design of, of a corn plant, the underside of the leaf has a little bit of an arch to it. So as we're pulling it through the stripper plates, we've got a better chance to stand this leaf back up and maybe we'll suck it on down through because I don't want to put it in the combine. And the third feature of, of running a beveled plate is related to the ear shank. And it is what connects from the node to the base of the cob. And this little stub of corn stalks sometimes two, maybe four inches long. And if I can get that low enough in the row unit, now I can grab and pinch that ear shank with the flutes. And now when I separate the ear, maybe I'm gonna be able to husk it at the same time. I grew up in a family where grandpa used to pick corn by hand, always talked about husking it, and I would agree with him. There's, there's no reason to put the husk in the combine. So those are the features of that beveled stripper plate that we think really play um, into harvesting in all conditions uh, that are gonna help reduce the amount of residue or trash intake to the, to the machine. Um, got a grass knife that goes with the spiral right here. I, I don't know about you, but at my farm, like around the fences, coming up to the waterways, sometimes we'll see a little bit of grass. It's nice to have that grass knife grass uh, uh, cover plate here uh, to help stop that problem. The, the razor sharp flutes, one of the things that we've noticed, e even if we're in grassy conditions, they are so sharp, they're so effective that uh, we, we never see it wrap on, on the stock rolls. So any weedy conditions, the, these, these stock rolls perform very, very well. And last but not least, uh, we're gonna uh, put in a gathering chain uh, in this upgrade kit because if you're rebuilding the corn head and you're like me, let's do it right, let's do it once and then I can run the corn head for a long time. Uh, the new gathering chain uh, has the chrome pins in it, which extends the life of, of that chain. So basically to, to review here, um, we've, we've got a good corn head. I like the speed ratio that's in that gearbox. Um, and the gathering chain versus the tip speed of the stock roll, I think is, is, is in that window that we like. But uh, I think we can improve on the, on the stock rolls by, by putting BT choppers in there. I think we can improve on the stripper plates by running with the combo uh, down in there. And it's just gonna take a good corn head and turn it into a, a great corn head that uh, I think is gonna perform day in, day out, whether it's seven o'clock in the morning or whether it's 10 o'clock at night. I think that's what we're gonna see here is a, an all weather uh, corn head. So the mechanical benefits, you know, we've talked about the, the good stock engagement. I mean, better ear separation. And, and, if you, and if you've got a stock chopper, I used to do that when I was a kid. And we just, a lot of people uh, buy this upgrade kit and just simply stop using uh, a stock chopper. Um, we have people that come in with chopping corn heads and they talk about horsepower and weight and cost and, and repairs. And I think we can do a better job with just a normal corn head with, with a set of BT choppers on it uh, without all that extra weight and horsepower. So we've got longer life. 
Uh, we can adapt to all tillage systems, um, the slower head speed, less butt shelling. As, as a group of farmers, we're here trying to dial it in and, and get a corn head that, that's almost perfect. But that's the mechanical side of things. There's also the agronomic side of things. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of return on investment. Commodity prices are low right now and input costs are still relatively high. When, when I buy parts, I, I would like to not only replace what's wore out, but I wanna buy parts that are gonna make me money. And we believe that there's a yield increase, especially in continuous corn. University of Illinois is showing a six bushel advantage in continuous corn, because we're releasing the nitrogen. We're letting it go back in the soil. We're releasing the nutrients, go back into the soil. We're feeding the earthworms. I, I think uh, from an agronomic point of view here, um, these babies work really well at, at promoting higher yields, both uh, in continuous corn and in uh, a corn soybean rotation. So we want to maximize your return on investment. But, you know, the other thing we always say is we're, we're farmer invented, farmer proven, farmer tested. And we're going to back this up. This is our family name. And uh, I, I've always said that uh, if you want to talk about something, you want to back it up. So we've got a 100% money back guarantee. You buy this kit, you put it on your corn head, and it doesn't do exactly what I just told you. You call me on the phone, we'll buy it back. Uh, we're that confident that, that we have built a great kit for you and we want you to be happy. So at Harvest, I'm a happy combine driver because I'm, I'm uh, tickled with what my corn head's doing in front of me and I can see it in the grain tank and I can see it when I'm, I'm loading the cart on, on the side there. So those all go together, I think, to make a, a, a fantastic upgrade kit for you. Um, we've also been voted uh, by other farmers, uh, the no-till farmers in America, we've been voted product of the year five times. So I think we've got a good reputation to go along with it. So with that, I, I hope that you'll take time to visit our website, calmercornheads.com. Feel free to call us on the phone at 309-629-9000. Last but not least, I always tell everybody, if you want to talk to me directly, call me on my cell phone at 309-368-1182. With that, I wanna say thanks for watching this video today and I wish you a great and happy growing season.